Hey everybody, it's uh, Brian here from uh, quantlabs.net. I uh, just wanted to give you the first highlights of uh, this Ernie Chan book. Uh, as I've told you before, the very first book on quantitative uh, or running at a quantitative business is quite good. That's what started me on this whole, so far, close to, uh, we'll call it three-year journey. Um, but the real main one, the second book on winning strategies is quite good. Now, for anybody who's advanced in the knowledge of all this stuff, it's not going to be, I don't think it'll be very valuable to them because I'm sure to them it'll be quite elementary. Uh, but if you're really new to this world and using tools like MATLAB that Ernie Chan uses, um, it's an excellent resource, uh, and especially if you're coming from next to zero knowledge on all this stuff. But the, the, the really killer part of this whole book is a couple of things. Before I'm, and I'm doing it step by step as I'm going through each chapter. Um, the real big value I'm getting out of the book is if you're really new to math um, or you haven't looked at it in a long time, like my case, it's, it's excellent at explaining all that to you. Um, you know, with with the with the utilities of like Khan Academy, um, and you don't understand something like an eigenvector or something. I mean, you could easily go on a Khan Academy and then get a really good um, definition of that with his excellent resources that are on that YouTube channel. Enough pressed uh, Bill Gates, right? So that's one takeaway that the math uh, explanations are quite good. And as, as Ernie says in his book, if you don't understand the equations so much, you can still use the actual source code, again, in MATLAB. It doesn't really matter. You can apply it to pretty well any language. Um, but with the MATLAB, you can go through the code and sort of reverse engineer step by step by step on how to do all that. And that's been one of the um, more uh, challenges I've had to overcome understanding all this stuff with the code and bring together the actual scientific notation algorithms or equations. Um, so that's very helpful to be able to pull that all together um, and use that code as, as, as a way to sort of reverse engineer what is in a scientific notation algorithm or equation. And not only that, but that's fine, but what a, a lot of other books don't do, which Ernie's does, he, he actually explains the interpretation of what certain ratios or certain that you can use as an indicators to, I, I'm pretty sure, highly and accurately forecast things. Being able to see what co-integration, true co-integration, be able to confirm it and so on and so forth. I'm not going to go into great detail of it, but my point is, if you're new to this, get this book. Um, it's going to really jumpstart a lot of a new way of looking at the stock market and forecasting, be it uh, futures, commodities, currency, whatever. Um, it's really, really enlightening. And I thought I'd just put this quick video for people that are following me on how I'm going about it. I just sent a Skype little instant message to the London Quant saying, now he can call me Professor Einstein. I'm not going to be like that, but it really is increasing my confidence. And the other cool thing is, from my perspective, using the help documentation or the help of MATLAB is so powerful, you can use that as an additional resource, and it's really um, explains it from a layman's ter terms as well, so you can quickly pick this stuff up. Now, Another guy out of New York is 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 going through all these um, uh, resources online through YouTube or whatever, and he's trying. To, he's convincing himself that yes, you can forecast the markets really accurately using math. Uh, nothing else. No no hidden science there. Uh, and and this is really critical stuff. You do not need to rely on. Uh, guys in suits to sell you crap um, because you use these tools or these other things and, and they become crutches for a lot of so-called traders and, and, and using those tools as a crutch 
to make trading decisions, which is absolutely insane because it's a guaranteed way of losing money. But going down this path with Ernie Chan's book, understanding math through all the different resources, you can, you can, you can, without, with confidence I can say, you can highly accurately predict the markets and use all these different indicators and all these trading signals at the same time to verify those trading decisions before you actually go out and open up positions, okay? Having all this information is so critical, but that's all fine if it's here. But if you're able to automate it, build tr uh, trading systems with all this stuff going on, you're, you're, you're now increasing your chances, and at the same time, you're decreasing your risk. Only an idiot, honestly, only an idiot would not go down this path, unless they're so lazy, and we all know that laziness is going to kill you on the markets. So again, um, I'm not going to go on about it, but I do think that this book is really revolutionary in, in how you look at the markets, especially from a mathematical point of view, and that's fine. But then the real, the, real, the real key is to being able to automate it. Because if you can't automate it, you're going to get crushed. Because somebody else or a system or something else is going to be able to make better decisions out there and leave you behind because your decision making from using this is going to be too slow. Just how it is. Everything's going electronic and automated anyway. So you either get on it or you get the hell out and just play with your money in a casino. You'll probably have better luck. Just my perspective, and as I go through this Ernie Chan's latest book, and if Ernie's watching this, good God, man, you're like like a a god. You you you've created something that I think could really change people's way of looking at the world of trading. Who knows? But every I always say it's it's up to everybody who wants to do well in the world of, of trading, um, and and these tools and these resources are out there, and only a fool would not take advantage of them. Over and out.